Going to lunch with your wife was her idea, okay? If you think that I pushed her into it, you... I don't think that at all. I'm positive it was her own idea. That's how she is. She's very straightforward. She puts her cards on the table. Unlike me. Well, I used to think you were that way. But I go to Pine Valley, I meet your wife, and I don't tell her who I am. I keep up this very old, very hurtful lie. Is this some sort of apology? Well, you once did say I was the world's worst apologizer. Well, you are the world's worst apologizer, and you want to know why? Because you hate to admit when you're wrong about anything. That is so oh, not true. What? what? Are you kidding me? What about the time we were in the Jeep and you were doing the driving and you almost went into the river and I was trying to set a leg in the back seat? Yeah. What about that? Uh, what, yeah, what about that? Okay, because it was like all this space, not that close. Not that close? No, 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 I no. Had river mud in my pocket, not that close. You said you saw a hippopotamus? Hey, I had never seen one before. There was no hippopotamus. And, you know I apologize for no, that. You know what one. you yes, said? I did. You said, I'm sorry if you're such a wussy that you can't handle fancy driving. That's what you said. That sounds like me. Exactly. That's right. And you know what the bottom line is? The truth? You are a terrible driver. Terrible. Well, you're a backseat driver. See that? No apology. I'm sorry, Jake. Really? What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for a lot. I'm sorry for the way that I left. I'm sorry for lying to you about my brother, and mostly I'm sorry for hurting you. That's better. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Lunch with my wife. Can you make it brief? Get in, get out. Better get to work. Don't want to get canned my first day. So you've heard some stories about me. Let me guess. I'm a cowboy. I don't play by the rules. I march to the beat of my own ego. Am I getting warm? You also piss off every official politician or philanthropist you come across. You, you manipulate them. You use them against one another, break promises. And I get results. So if I embarrass a few stuffed shirts along the way, I'm fine with that. Look, if I'm making you uncomfortable oh, no, no, because... No, no, you're, 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 not, you're not doing that. I'm not some socialite you can push around or, or charm the pants off. Who said you were? The Miranda Center was named after my daughter. In honor of the struggle and pain I overcame bringing her into the world. It means more to me than you can ever imagine. Zach brought you into this project because he, he thought you could make a difference. And now Zach is dead and I'm here and I, I need really? to know. It's that easy? I thought you and Ryan were destined to be together. You can never be a threat to what you have. I didn't say you were a threat. But you are pregnant with this child. And you just expect me to trust you? Take your word that there's nothing else going on here? There isn't. I put my faith in someone before. And it turned out to be the biggest mistake I ever made. You're not comparing me to David right now. Greenlee, I'm not out to get you, okay? I don't have some master plan to ruin your life. This is going to change things. I don't know how, but we both know it well, so let's just stop pretending that it won't. What's going on? So it doesn't matter that the whole idea of the Miranda Center expansion came from Zach? Of course it matters. She's not saying that. I thought I told you I was in charge of the project. Okay, don't, don't blame him. I called this meeting. You're just as bad as Greenlee thinks. I, don't you know what this means to me? Don't, don't you know what it meant to Zach? You know I do. Well then, tell me what this meeting was about. Your sister was letting me know that she's having troubles with investors because of my rep. Oh, what's wrong with his rep? Oh, he's been known to cut corners, break some rules to get what he wants. All right, well, then let me make the call. I can work these guys. I'm Zach's wife. I, I, I will make them see that they have to support the project. Kendall, I... No, I'll make them see that Zach was ready to donate in, in, in tons of money and dedicate his whole life to it. Balancing the scales, that's, that's what he used to say. 
This man who brought so much to my life wanted to make up for... Kendall. I don't, I don't even know what, but... Kendall. I can do this. I don't think you can. I have to do this. Okay, okay, we can do it another time. How about we go see the boys? No, no, listen to me, okay? Listen to me, both of you. No more meetings without me. No more decisions made without me, okay? If a call needs to be made on Zach's behalf, his wife will make it. Okay? I am coming with you. No. I, I need to walk. I just need to walk. Is there something that I should know? Greenlee and I keep having the same fight. She's pissed that I got in between her fight with Kendall. But I keep telling her that it's history. Forget about me. Okay. Well, I mean, there's got to be some way that we can try and work this out, right? I mean, Madison, I think I think you were right. I think maybe we should just try to keep our distance. From Works for me. Let's just end this right here. Dr. Max, extension 456. Dr. Max, extension 456. Hey, must be Simon. Dr. Max, extension 456. I am Dr. Jake. How are you doing today? And I saw your mom in the in the waiting area. Very, very nice person. Very, very nice. So you are here for a shot today. Am I right? Let me ask you something. Are you married? No. No? Do you have any children of your own? Mm, brothers, sisters? Older brother. You have an older I have an older brother. You know what his name is? Thaddeus. We don't like that name very much, so we call him Ted. Ted happens to be very good at pinball. You like pinball? No, you probably like video games, right? It's a little more current. Well, Tad's old. So, the shots. Now, I know a lot of people get nervous of shots, but I want you to know I have given shots all around the world, even as far as Africa. Africa's far. Very far. And I've given a lot of shots to a lot of people in Africa. To kids? Especially kids. Big ones, small ones, tough ones. <laughs> even the tough ones were scared of shots, believe me. So you know what's funny? I think you'll find this funny. I came up with a game called, oddly enough, Funny Faces. Now, Funny Faces is the type of... Hi. Hi. Kara, this is my buddy Simon. Simon, this is Kara. Hi, Simon. Simon's getting a shot today, and he's, I think, a little bit nervous. Oh, well, did you tell him about Funny Faces? That's so funny. I was just talking about... Weren't we just talking about Funny Faces? We were just talking about Funny Face, which mm -hmm. reminds me, would you happen to remember the Funny Face called Blowfish? Uh, of course. Yeah. Right? Wait, wait a minute. What about crazy chicken? Crazy chicken? Come on. Oh, yes, crazy chicken. Crazy oh, chicken yeah. goes like this. <laughs> That's about it for crazy chicken. <laughs> you know, Kara's excellent at giving shots. But crazy chicken over here, he's the best. That's why he does that part, and I do this part. <laughs> and we are done. We are done. How was that? Good. Yeah? Wasn't so bad, was it? How do you feel? All right? Yeah. Give me some skin. And that's the name of that tune. Good man. <laughs>